looking back at my thoughts on the film, I wanted to see if any kind of opposing thoughts had some merit to it. So I went to Letterboxd and looked up half-star reviews, and I got some reviews to read if you'll indulge me. Does that sound okay? I'll indulge you. What do people see in this? The quality is crap, and why did Denis Villeneuve put a floating watermark that says 1x bet going around on the screen? Also, I didn't know they did intermissions because there was some Indian dude telling me about gambling. Pretty <laughs> effed up. <laughs> Oh, the, the audio also the audio also sucked. They didn't edit out the coffee on set. Stupid, you're all sheep. <laughs> uh, uh, I understand what she's talking about. Uh, if you know, you know. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that here. Ah, uh, I got another one here. Sorry, <laughs> I miss when Hollywood was fun. Last week, Deborah presented me with divorce papers. <laughs> she says. She said she doesn't love me anymore after the whole iPad fiasco, and I was gutted. I broke down in tears and told her if she leaves, I'll do something drastic. She said she didn't care and still asked me to sign the papers, but she didn't say I had to sign my name. I sat there, and I crap you not for 10 minutes chuckling to myself to think of a funny fake name to win her back. After three minutes, she started sobbing after I started doing my brainstorm dance. I only break out when I really need it. <laughs> in all capitals here. I will not tell you how to do with a brainstorm dance. It's a family secret, and I plan to pass it down to me and Deborah's future son. <laughs> yes, if it's a girl, I'm going to say, what's the return policy to the nurses? I couldn't focus over her sobbing enough, so after 10 minutes, all I wrote was tits, written down, not in cursive, because I never learned. <laughs> the guy at Quiznos I always go to for advice told me, the divorce can't be finalized if you just sign tits. His name is Brent, and he's 17. He's currently <laughs> he's currently undecided on if he's going to go to college, but he's been doing he's been doing, he's been doing my taxes for the last few months. <laughs> whenever I ask him, what's asking? Well, whenever I ask him what's taking so long, he tells me he needs to find another. <laughs> he needs to find a what? He asks. He tells me he needs to find another, another free trial of Microsoft Office. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. He's kind of like the son I've ever had. I don't know what you're saying I'm so, anymore. I'm so sorry. Oh man. Okay. Oh, man, he's kind of like the son I never had, so I'm thinking about teaching him the dance. It just feels right. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. Anyway, that was his review of Doom. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that one. Uh, that was only a half star, huh? Yeah. Thanks for watching these highlights from our episode of the Stale Popcorn Podcast. If you want to listen to the full episode, click on the link in the description. Please like, share, and subscribe, and if you do that with your favorite YouTuber, I'm sure they would appreciate it too. Thanks, and have a great day.